Oh, there's one thing we could talk about on this regard, which is a quick, quick, quick thing that I saw, which is that some people argue that view models are no longer needed for JTAG Compose and that uh, process that is no longer a problem in Compose. These are two things. I think the initial creator of Jetpack Compose himself said that view models on, uh, Jetpack view models are not really needed anymore, right, on Twitter. Well, there's technically some truth to that and some not. Like you can use remember saveable for sure to uh, save state in Jetpack Compose across process that. And you can also use uh, Android config changes orientation to block orientation changes. But to that, I tend to say that you could have always done this. Like if this was yeah, the Yeah, that's real... not enough, right? There are other configuration changes, like changing the size of the text, I think is also configuration change. This is also something people do. They just uh, lock the orientation and they think they uh, they don't need to handle configuration changes, but this is just one of, process that. one of multiple <laughs> different options. Yeah, yeah especially opposite. because of how multi-window mode is now becoming more and more normal, and that's also a config change, so you need to care about it. Yeah, you can't ignore that. Yeah. So as back to that uh, view model not being needed, well, you kind of do and you don't. Like the concept of a model that is separate from your view representation exists. Like you, you can definitely have everything as remember savable inside a composable, but, uh, and you could also theoretically use like remember coroutine scope and even execute coroutines inside your, uh, inside your composable itself. But that doesn't mean that that's good for your code structure over time. Like if everything is in Compose, if everything is like a UI representation, then <laughs> we basically come back to something that's very similar to when activities used to do SQL operations in OnCreate. I thought what he meant was creating a normal Kotlin class as a view model instead and not using the Jetpack view model. I mean, you can do that. The question then becomes who will save and restore its state, right? Hmm. Like if it's a, just a normal class and that doesn't have either a save state handle or isn't a simple stack managed class that implements bundleable, who will save its state? Hmm. Okay. Like, I guess you could put it in remember savable and hope for the best, but there are some properties that you do want to uh, save, some that you don't. I guess you can extract that state. Um, I think that's a rabbit hole in a sense. I think removing view model entirely, or at least the concept of a separate model that stores your data that is uh, separate from your composables, I think it's early for that. I don't, I don't, I'm not so sure that that's a good idea, but this might be just by us talking. <laughs>